Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. These 101 best practices are just a small sample of over a thousand embedded in the airtight management six systems. Today, we're going to talk about ones used to create high performance teams. Best practice number 11 in the category of high performance is manage any conflict and all conflict immediately. It's the leader's job to create a meritocracy without politics. I call the ideal culture actually a Darwinian meritocracy because it's supposed to naturally evolve, evolve based on both inside and outside factors. It might be industry and regulatory factors. It may be internal people factors and resources changing. But a, a business and a team has to be dynamic and it has to adjust as outside forces change around it. The team leader is responsible for actively sensing any friction in the team and what's going on and really has to try to diffuse that as early as possible so that it doesn't fester and grow. So this means really not allowing stronger personalities to dominate and suppress others. You can push people out of the team if you're a strong personality. The team leader must really ensure that communication happens and that there's an open and trusting space in that team for everyone to participate. Um, dealing with conflict openly and transparently means that if there's any friction, it can destroy uh, the team and morale, and so the leader really has to take charge of that. Uh, if two people are having an ongoing problem, then I would literally lock them in a room until a solution is found. The leader is acting as a mediator or an arbitrator because there's, you know, there's probably no right and wrong in a lot of these things, you know, unless there's clear policy or ethics or law involved, then and people probably have different perspectives on the same problem, and usually that can be diffused. But if it can't be diffused, and, and that is an ongoing problem, one of those people needs to leave the team because that friction will hurt the productivity of the other people on the team. Uh, you, you can't be afraid to replace people when there's personality problems. Uh, they're usually not going to get better. They're going to grow. But give it one or two or three shots to see if you can get those people aligned. Uh, I would guess that 80% of the time you can. Uh, they have to understand and be team players. They have to make compromises at times. Uh, and more than likely, they have different perspectives and bad communication. So that's best practice number 11. 